Welcome back to your day. Fresh fruits and veggies, homemade baked goods, local honey, music, fun for the kids. It's farmer's market time, and there's a big one in Finley tomorrow. Scott Green Earth has brought a table full of wares for us today. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Glad to do it. Glad I to be in this, this season. Yes, I love <laughs> this season so much, and uh, you guys have the farmer's market every Thursday, but the third Thursday of yes. the month is particularly special, isn't it? Indeed. We start in May, go all the way through October. Mm -hmm. So, and indeed with this, like you said, the music, kids activities for the family, special community organizations out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's really, it's a really wonderful event. And I, while I wasn't in town the last time, everybody told me like last in May, it was just wonderful. The turnout was fabulous. Good. And tomorrow's going to be a little bit cooler than today. So yes. that's good news. So let's work through uh, some of the finds that people can stumble upon when they come to the market tomorrow. Of course, we have fresh strawberries. Oh yeah. We are in the, it is the we season. are yeah. in the <laughs> season. And I, and when I pulled that out of the cooler, I was like, oh, yeah, just the smell. Good, yes, fresh. perfectly fresh. So you will be able to find your strawberries yeah. at the farmer's like market. Get there early. That is a oh, okay. high demand item. Okay. I, that is a very valuable they go, tip. They go fast, get there early. Okay. Yes. And then on a day like today, yeah. we've got some nice fresh tea, don't Indeed. we? Indeed. Honest Herbs. Uh, Logan's our market manager this year, actually, and he makes uh, teas, his own custom blends from his herbs he grows organically. So he's got all kinds of unique ones there. They're just fantastic. And this one you said was a hibiscus like That's mint, actually a right? a blend in that box there so you oh, can okay. get multiple types but yes oh, that is okay. uh, the summer zing one there. I'm going to try a little bit. Go here. for it. Hibiscus yeah. and mint. Absolutely. So mm. I will have it some. It smells here. really nice too and yes very refreshing. This is a an iced tea. You yeah, can do it iced I'm, of course. Read it last you night. Put it in the cooler to chill mm. overnight. You bet. Delicious. Okay. Um, you said rhubarb and you got my attention because <laughs> rhubarb is one of my favorite things you know awesome. especially with a berry of some sort. So yes. what do we have up here? Those are my items actually. I do. I, oh, I'm Galaxy Garden Bakery at the market there mm -hmm. um, along with another vegan baker. So everything I make is vegan and that is also gluten free and that's raspberry rhubarb oat bars. So the rat strawberry rhubarb everybody pretty much knows. Correct. Yeah. And it's wonderful. Right. I'm not knocking that. Give it to me. <laughs> give it to me. But the raspberry that lighter flavor mm -hmm. with the rat with the rhubarb is just wonderful. And that rhubarb was literally just picked not even 24 hours ago. Oh. So, talk yeah. about fresh. Matter of fact, the strawberries and the rhubarb both come from Lawrence Produce. Mm -hmm. Tom has been there since the very first time we had the market back in 2005. They travel a whole whopping 3.4 miles to get to the market. <laughs> that is how local they are. Wow. Okay. So you are definitely getting some fresh goods. And of course, we have the the vegetables here yeah. um, that you'll be able to pick up so as well. got kohlrabi right here, mm -hmm. and uh, which you can use the greens, which mm -hmm. I used that the other day in like a stir fry. They're okay. wonderful. I've got another of the bowl, but we're going to combine the two together when I get home tonight and have something good with okay. that. The asparagus, mm. and look at how beautiful it, it is, is, how beautiful. healthy, <laughs> lively. It is not traveled from Peru, yes, <laughs> that's for sure. Yes, this is fresh, it's gonna taste delicious. But again, I'll warn folks, we're at the very end of that season. Okay, so there'll so be a little bit more coming, but not a whole lot more. Okay, so, so grab it now. If you haven't you had your chance yet. You want to make sure you get it. I'm looking at the popcorn here because I know when I take my daughter to the farmer's market, she always loves to get that that yes. fresh popcorn that people will be able to get well, as we well. We got popcorn covered in two ways. Shepherd's kettle corn mm -hmm. is there popping it fresh mm -hmm. sometimes or at least bagged where it was just made the sure. day prior. Mm -hmm. And then this is coming from Buckeye Family Farms. So that one here in this bag over here as well, that is actually available at the Tiffin Drive-In Theater because okay. they are supporting oh, local fun. businesses, which is why really I encourage cool. anybody to do. So find ways of using local. this, support local businesses, have something good and unique, absolutely. So tiff and drive and you can go enjoy it or come to the market and get it. And, and get own. some there tomorrow, of course. Okay. Yeah. And then you have great stuff for the house too. You've got flowers, you've got cutting boards, you've got yeah. something really cool for the for the yeah. wine lovers too. So the woodwork is from Whiskey Creek uh, Woodworking. Justin is just amazing with what he creates. So that it's the epoxy resin and walnut combination for That's beautiful. charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. so you can oh yeah, you have to make it look nice, don't yeah, you? Yes, <laughs> set that set up some beautiful stuff, bring it out to your guests, to plop down the table along with your, your wine glass glass holders and you are set. People are going to be in awe of what you bring out there for sure. You're going to be impressive. You're going to impress yeah. everybody. And the flowers are from Wild Vine These Farm, are beautiful. which is the same place that we got the kohlrabi from and the head of lettuce we'll get to in a moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about the head of lettuce here. Yeah. yeah. And rhubarb too. Yeah. And the rhubarb. So that's the rhubarb right from mm -hmm. Lawrence's farm on the east side of Finley, who again, Tom's been there forever. And I'm glad to say he's transitioning to um, someone else.
someone else to kind of help him because okay. he's get, getting up okay. there in his years of experience. Got to keep it going. Though. Yeah, and so that's great because we need it. <laughs> so and then the gorgeous lettuce. Oh my goodness! I, so when I saw that when uh, when Wild Vine Farms handed that to me yesterday, I was like, oh, that's just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make some goodies for yeah, people with we that. Yeah, so Beautiful, beautiful. So along with that, we've also got from Nuts for You their uh, toasted pecans there. Mm, they and smell so the, good, don't the, they? Yeah, oh, they do. <laughs> and then with that, even they're offering a special this time on two dollars off on their big bag at the market just this week only. So, okay, so you want to take advantage of that. And then you've got syrup. Yes, maple syrup. We are actually, Hancock County has at least six sugar bushes down mm -hmm. there. Well, we're in our neck of the woods, literally in our neck of the woods in this case. <laughs> and only two miles from our house is the closest one. This is from one of them, the maple syrup here and uh, in there. And those folks have great, again, just all natural stuff. It just comes from the tree, you just evaporate off wow. the water, get it down at the right ratio, and hope you get freezing and falling back in the spring, which we did. It does, yes, yeah. and it doesn't get any better than that. And then you have the some jam. Uh, the yeah. jam too, and then some other um, items as well that people will yeah. be able to find. Indeed, you know, and this one here is the we we go for functional art. So that's mm -hmm. what we've got there, the yeah. boards and that for mm -hmm. your kitchen. You got a bottle opener here from Whiskey Creek Woodworking, and then my wife has her own business where she does pyrography, and that's the fire canvas. Uh -huh. So she added the pyrography to it to give it an extra splash on there. All local stuff, and we're supporting and, local yeah. farmers, and local business owners. Sharpening your knife. And they'll sharpen well. your knife for you yes, at the farmer's market. Indeed, <laughs> on the spot, because a sharp knife is a safe knife, as I like to really repeat often, especially when you're cutting into like watermelons this time of the year, getting think, getting ready for that. And yes, we are gonna be things. and I wanna I wanna break into something here too, because you, you said the raspberry with the rhubarb. I yeah. haven't tried that combo. Tell us again when the farmers market is and where. Absolutely. It is in downtown Finley at the Marathon Center for the Performing Arts parking lot. Uh, so right there, convenient parking is easy as pie, absolutely, <laughs> and literally and figuratively, uh, right across from the post office for one more landmark. And uh, it's there every Thursday, mm -hmm. all the way from spring, May, all the way through October. And again, it's every third Thursday is when we have these special, the special events going on ones. with our community you know, features there. And by the way, also shout out to Blanchard Valley Health Systems. that They've been a wonderful, true partner in this market. Mm -hmm. We've got shopping bags there for people courtesy of them too. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's not overly sweet, too. No. I take pride in that. You will actually taste the rhubarb It's the delicious. Raspberry. I love it. So good. Thank you for joining us this morning. Gladly. We appreciate Pleasure it. Have fun at the night. farmer's market tomorrow. We'll be back with more Your Day after this.